So friends, on National Defence, I have a very special person from Adani Defence and Aero Systems, Mr. Swapnil Jarundwala. Uh, uh, Can you introduce yourself, sir? Sure. So very good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am speaking from Hindan Air Base, and I am Swapnil and taking care of uh, all UAV and counter drone uh, projects in Adani Defence and Aerospace. And today we are here to uh, showcase our capabilities and ecosystem that we have developed in UAV segment over the last couple of years, and we have possibly all range of UAVs which we have indigenized for the forces, which we are supplying to the forces for the last couple of years and where we have worked very closely with the Indian MSMEs for the design and development of these part, these very critical uh, unmanned aerial systems and counter drone systems uh, which are very which are very uh, tested products uh, for the environment that we are looking for for the uh, different types of uh, uh, different types of uh, uh, different types of combat uh, possibilities that we are looking for and that's what we are showcasing over here that what all types of UAVs we have. So uh, Adani Defence is here at the Bharat Shakti, Bharat Drone Shakti 2023. Uh, it is uh, very important to understand the perspective that how why drones are so important because drones can save lives, uh, lives of our uh, military personnel uh, on behalf of the humans. Uh, drones can fight for them. Our military personnel can be in the command and control center and drones can do whatever they want. They can drop a missile, they can drop a bomb or they can do surveillance, reconnaissance or intelligence gathering. So in that perspective, unmanned warfare becomes very important. So Adani defense was once, uh, yeah. you know, everyone criticized that Adani is not in the defense. So I asked Ashish Rajwanshi in, in, in an interview seven years back that you were never, never been in defense. So he said, what if we were no, also not in the ports? So today you are making one of the you know, great systems, combat systems. So what, how is the journey? Yes, so the, the journey is definitely very beautiful because uh, uh, like uh, as you know that defense is a sector which is very close to us and uh, wherein there is a different feeling when we are doing something for the country. And especially when we want to bring those technologies uh, in the country, we want to introduce those technologies uh, to the armed forces which are uh, the need of the hour. And as you all know that unmanned systems are like uh, going to be the future of the uh, all warfare. And what we what we see here, okay, the, the the big equipment that you see here is a male class of UAV, which we call Tristi 10 Starliner, which we are already supplying to services, and we have already exported uh, 20 plus units to the other countries. This is this is one of our flagship product, and uh, only one of the private companies who are uh, developing and manufacturing such type of UAV. It is like uh, 36 hours of endurance, 30,000 of uh, uh, altitude, and it can integrate all advanced types of payloads like electroptics, payloads, synthetic Apache radar, maritime patrol radar, electronic intelligence, communication intelligence. It has got also 450 kg of payload carrying capacity and a large internal bay. So you can you can you can easily see that the moment the UAV takes off from a particular airbase, you can see it back only after 36 hours and can conduct all types of missions that you can think of. So this is a bird which we have indigenized and we have created local ecosystem with very good MSMEs that we have. And earlier people used to say that there are no capabilities existing in the country. But when we started to indigenize this whole platform, we realized that we have abundant capability in the country and we just need to exploit it. So the knowledge that we had gained over here, okay, we have also like passed on the knowledge in developing all these platforms that you see. So is this the part of this drone? No, so this is a different not drone. mothership so, drone. So, so, so every drone has got a different application. When you want to go for a very strategic application, strategic missions, you need these drones. But then these are also smaller drones, okay, which is very difficult to get uh, detected by any system. And this is one of the systems which we are again providing to the services with 75 minutes of endurance. And the best part of our geography, the Indian geography is the high altitude operations, which we are not able to see any other country. So this drone we have developed in such a way that this can operate at a very, very high altitude operations with more than 4,500 meters at takeoff altitude. So very, 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 very nicely designed and uh, going to that, like if you see the bigger platform over here, the smallest one over here, and then we have some tactical drones which were developed over here. As you see, this is one, this Serious is one space. such, yeah, this is in uh, collaboration with one of our very good uh, uh, strategic partners, CD Space and uh, we have developed it completely indigenous product okay together and as you see the size of the whole equipment and it is a vertical takeoff and horizontal glide so this is very this is very tall it's a VTOL and then it can definitely achieves all the mission parameters which a fixed wind achieve 
in terms of speed, in terms of mission capabilities, in terms of carrying various types of payloads. And the best suitable part is it is a runway independent uh, platform. Okay. Which means that you don't need catapult, you don't need any type of runway. It just vertically takes off and starts the mission. So if you want to use it for naval mission, if you want to use it for any shipborne mission, if you want to use it for taking off from some any particular type of uh, geography. And we developed it here in India itself. Completely India, with all Indian uh, suppliers with What us. a capability. Great to know that. Going forward, uh, this is one uh, another platform which we had... Uh, uh, th this is this is one of the platforms which was developed as uh, more of an initiative from Indian Air Force. Uh, we all know about Meher Baba competition and uh, that was a competition for... Uh, uh, developing a swarm capability of the drones. Now swarm capability is a capability wherein the multiple drones carry out a mission, they talk to each other, okay, they carry out the missions, they go separate from each other and they come back to the original location but with no human intervention. Okay, so this is this is a basic uh, fundamental of swarm. So this is what we introduced as a part of the Meher Baba competition and we are one, one among the top three uh, companies who successfully showcase the entire Meher Baba, entire swarm capabilities and now we are already contracting uh, certain contracts for this platform. Uh, just like what you see here, these are some of the uh, platforms which we are offering as a part of defense portfolio. We, we also use the same knowledge uh, for developing something which is more commercial oriented. And we believe that okay, the drones may be used for defense purpose, it may be used for commercial purpose, but the knowledge has to pass on. Because you have developed capabilities, you have developed infrastructure, you have developed people, you have trained them, okay, you have developed a lot of MSMEs. So the same ecosystem will definitely help you out to conduct missions, to conduct operations, which is also more on the commercial side, the civil sector side of the uh, entire market. If you come to that side, uh, we have certain um, uh, drones which we are using more on the commercial side. Like for example, the big uh, Octa drone that you see over here. In fact, it's a hexa drone. Okay, this is uh, this is a logistics drone. Okay, which we have uh, tested for a high altitude operations. Okay, uh, there, there there are there are areas wherein uh, it's it's difficult to uh, supply uh, food. It's difficult to supply ammunitions. It's difficult to supply medicines. It's difficult to supply some emergency uh, requirements. Okay, uh, through the conventional means, you don't have any options. That's when we are using these drones. It can carry up to 40 kg of payload as more than 30-40 minutes of endurance. And uh, this is being used commercially at uh, various places like very mountainous region. Plus it's also being used by services uh, uh, in their own geographies for their own missions. So uh, uh, how is the ecosystem now? Because uh, earlier there were very few industries uh, who can build such great systems. but. Uh, what is your experience over last six, seven years when you launched Adani Defense and Aerospace? Yeah. So, uh, as you know, Adani Defense is into multiple segments, right, from UAVs, counter drones, small arms, ammunitions, missile systems. Uh, the predominant value that we have and that we observe is any platform that you do, there has to be some development aspect to that. There should be some R&D to that. There should be some design to that. And that's when, that's how we are also working with DCP as a DCP partner with DRDO for missile systems. Similarly for counter drone systems and many other subsystems. And uh, even the ammunition, we are coming out with one of the, one of the largest ammunition parks in uh, Kanpur. So this is one of our, uh, I would say, uh, principle, okay, when we come out with any type of product, any type of platform. Now, when we do this whole activity, okay, we, we have to interact with a lot of suppliers, we have to interact with a lot of strategic partners, we have to interact with a lot of MSMEs also, some of our uh, competitive companies also, in order to bring everything together and uh, offer one of the most compliant systems. And what we feel now, that the industry is ready. The industry is ready to provide the best of the class of the platforms, best of the technologies, okay. They are working day and night, okay, to bring more and more innovation. If you see here in the Bharat Drone Shakti, you will find so many companies who are doing a lot of good things. Many of the companies you keep on see me meeting every year in such events and then you realize, okay, they have progressed from level 1 to level 2, level 3, level 10. And this is something which will keep on going. Also, we are very, very, uh, we are very thankful to the forces also because every year they are, they are throwing new challenges to us. Uh, there are emergency procurements, there are different trials, different testing that happens. And this is something which is a core of uh, I would say any intent for any industry okay, to go and develop certain products. So I believe both the ecosystem has to work together, both the uh, stakeholders have to work together and introduce best of the products. I can see this drone, uh, this is for intelligence gathering, is it? Yeah, this is for intelligence gathering. This is again a vertical takeoff and horizontal glide. 
uh, what you saw there okay that was something which is of 6 hours of endurance this is around 2 hours of endurance so of course the missions change okay uh, but the best part is like everyone wants a runway independent platform and that's why we are also focusing on okay that how do we uh, detach ourselves from any type of runway dependency or any type of catapult dependency so this is one platform which is used for isr operations so uh, sopil uh, besides air force which are the other forces or agencies in India who you're working with closely uh, so that our viewers can understand uh, the requirement of different uh, agencies and forces? So we are working with Air Force, we are working with Indian Navy, we are working with Indian Army. Along with that, we are working with a lot of MHA organizations like uh, BSF, NSG, CRPF. Uh, uh, we are working with all, some of the commercial organizations also like the Bureau of Civil Aviation wherein we are working very closely for offering counter drone systems. Is again a very different type of systems. How do you protect your critical infrastructure from any type of drone attacks? Okay, which you keep on hearing every time uh, that there are some global news wherein certain drone has come and attack uh, some refinery, uh, creating some trouble. So developing counter drone so systems. We have, we have developed counter drone systems. We had deployed at some trial sites and we had seen some beautiful results. So we are developing that again at our Hyderabad facility. A very good uh, set of people who have worked on it and developed one of the most compliant systems. So is it just investment or uh, researching, uh, develop, doing R&D, or you got some orders as well? We have orders. We, we have we have we have we have we have big order book. But any success, okay, starts with investment. Any success starts with research and development. That's what we believe. So that's what we started long years back, and now we are bearing the fruits of it. Right. So, uh, what is the future like? Is it only India which uh, Adani Defence and Aerospace is eyeing, or uh, is there bigger market in the world? Which market are you looking at? So, we 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 believe in one uh, concept: make in India, make for India, make for the world. Very nice. So, which are the countries uh, starting with? So, we are working with many countries, okay, uh, many Southeast Asian countries, many African countries, and we have proposed a lot of these products over there, and we are seeing very good traction. Right. Thank you so much for speaking to National Defence, Mr. Swapnil. Thank it's you. such a great uh, listening you that, uh, and moreover, the Indian companies, they're doing well uh, in defence manufacturing. That That is one thing which, uh, which is required because uh, ultimately we have to defend ourselves and we have to defend with our own equipment. Uh, thank you for speaking to National Defence once again. Thank you, Mr. Swapnil. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much.